Buenas noches, en este momento vamos a empezar, solo vamos a, a esperar unos momentos para que se conecten, vamos a empezar el módulo 3, eh, sección 4, para esta semana, vamos a esperar a que se conecten los estudiantes y ya vamos a comenzar. Y en este momento vamos a repasar nada más las lecciones que vamos a recibir para esta semana. Este es el primer objetivo. In this class, participants will listen to a conversation where participles, participles and as adjectives are used in context. Creo que esto es de la sección 3. Así que vamos a ir a la sección 4. Si sí, esta es la que vamos a ver. Esta no. Esta sí. So that's what it means. Tenemos un listening. We're going to listen to three conversations about driving. 
choose true or false for each statement. Eh, vamos a escuchar tres eh, conversaciones acerca de manejo. Vamos a ver si es correcta o no. Uh, good evening, Alejandra. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. You're early today for the class. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what happened to the rest? I don't know. You don't know what happened, okay. No. Okay, no problem. Mientras esperamos, vamos a tratar de completar este ejercicio que es de la plataforma. Uh, have you worked in the platform? ¿Ya trabajó en la plataforma? Mm, yes. Ok. Did you do this exercise, or, uh, this exercise already? Yes, I did. Ok. Is it easy or difficult? So-so. Mm, So-so. <laughs> ok. Let's see because yes. I haven't done it. So we are going to listen to three conversations about driving. Choose true or false. For each statement. Mientras esperamos, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Good evening, Soraya. Thank you for coming. Okay, vamos a poner el ejercicio. Page 96. Exercise 11. Listening. What's in a sign? Part A. Listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? Sixty dollars. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Page 96. Exercise 11. Part B. Listen again. Which drivers did something wrong? One. Okay, so did you complete this exercise? Good evening, Rafael. Good evening, Alejandra. Good evening, teacher. Sorry okay, mientras... to be late. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Mientras esperábamos, estábamos haciendo este ejercicio. Este, did you finish this exercise? For example, the number one, the man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. What is the, uh, the answer? False. Like, false. Parking isn't allowed here during working hours. Is it true or false? True. Okay, let's see. The fine for parking is $16. Is it true or false? False. Okay, we also heard a woman, right? The woman is driving faster than the speed limit. Is it true or false? 
False. <clears throat> False. Let's see. And there are other cars in her lane. Is it true or false? Mm, false. The lane is reserved for buses and taxis. True or false? True. The other drivers are flashing their lights. True or false? True. He's driving with his lights on. True or false? False. And the other drivers are giving him a warning. True or false? True. True. Okay, let's go on to listen to again and let's see if it is true or false. Okay. It, it got stuck. It seems that it got stuck. Let me see here. Do you get stuck also when you're doing these exercises? ¿A ustedes también se les traba cuando hacen los ejercicios? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. <laughs> Is we have to fix the platform. Okay, we are going to check right now. Yes, very good. Very good, perfect. So it's false. This is true. The second part also false, false, true, true, false, true. Very good. Thank you, Alejandra, for helping me doing this. So if si no lo han hecho, ustedes lo pueden hacer en la plataforma. Y si ya trabajaron en la plataforma, como pueden ver, vamos a, a hablar acerca de signos, de símbolos. Este, también si tienen alguna duda del, de la plataforma, este, vamos a, pueden preguntar, ¿verdad? En el grupo, durante el día, etc. Y este, este sería el, el, la conversación, también la vamos a practicar después. Y estos son los modals en adverbs. Eso es la gramática que vamos a ver en esta, en esta unidad, en esta sección. Entonces vamos a comenzar en este momento con la unidad o la sección 4, ¿verdad? Vamos a tratar de, no sé todavía, no nos han dicho aún si vamos a, a, vamos a tener clase el viernes. No nos han confirmado nada, así que eh, vamos a ver si este, terminamos eh, para el jueves esta sección. Y si no, pues vamos a tratar de, de explicarlo más compacto, ¿verdad? Ok, so we are going to begin right now. Thank you for coming, Olga, Soraya, Elena, Alejandro, and Rafael. Thank you for being here. We are going to start right now the intermediate module. And it says, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures. En esta clase ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para describir emociones y ademanes. Do you know about body language? Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Eh, lo voy a decir en español. Ajá. Fíjese que en el grupo sí mandaron que el, el viernes se iba a reponer la clase. Sí mandaron. Sí. Quiero ver. En el grupo de principiante intermedio, ¿verdad? Sí, intermedio 3. Intermedio 3. No me ha caído nada. Ahora lo mandaron. No, el, el viernes, el 16. El viernes. Ah, sí, aquí está. Aquí está. Si sí, es, se informa, normalmente que este día viernes se cancelan y el viernes 23 se... Dice reprogramando esta sesión el día 23 de septiembre en los respectivos horarios. Ah, ok, very good. So, el viernes sí vamos a tener clase. Gracias por avisarme. Sí vamos a tener clase en los respectivos horarios, quiere decir que en el mismo horario, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a reponer la clase el 23 de septiembre, sí. Entonces, vamos a ir eh, paso a paso con eh, esta sección para poder cubrir todo, ¿verdad? So, as I was saying before, thank you for letting me know. 
Uh, as I was saying before, uh, do you know what body language is? Saben que es el body language? Gestos. Lenguaje corporal. Lenguaje corporal, exactly. Lenguaje corporal. For example, if you see someone like, like if it is trying to remember something, what do they do with their expression? Alguien que trata de recordar algo, como, ¿qué gestos hace? What gestures? Tal vez mira para arriba, ¿verdad? Tal vez se queda con la boca cerrada, pensando, pensativo. Tal vez se pone las manos aquí en el rostro, trying to think about something, trying to remember. So that's what we are going to check. Ad adjectives and vocabulary about gestures, about feelings, right? Describing feelings. So uh, what are these emojis, right? The emojis that you use in your cell phone, right? For example, it says here, I am bored. As you can see, this face is like rolling their eyes. I am bored. I love it. Great job. That's awful. I'm not amused. That's amazing. Just kidding. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. I'm so embarrassed and my heart is breaking. So we have different emojis with emojis. We can express also through text messages, our emotions, right? So do you have any question about these, um, these emojis, this vocabulary that we are checking right now? Any word that you don't know, for example, bored or kidding or embarrassed? The first one is the emoji of mouse. I'm not amused. Amused. Uh -huh. Exactly. I'm not amused. It's like I'm not having fun, right? Amused. No divertido. Like, uh -huh, no me estoy divirtiendo. I'm not. I'm not having fun. Yes, I'm not amused. Thank you. Okay, another one. What does mean awful? Awful. I think. Awful. That's awful. What What does it mean awful? Yesterday we were checking like a synonyms, right? Sinónimos. Do you remember the synonyms that we studied yesterday? Los sinónimos que estudiamos ayer. A synonym of awful is? Horrible. Horrible. That's horrible. That's terrible. For example, if something bad happens to you, that's awful, right? Terrible. Horrible. Another one? No, that's it. For example, uh, when can we use, um, or what kind of emojis do you use in your text messages? Do you use any of these? Or when can we use this one? Like, I'm not amused. I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. I'm so embarrassed. Do you use emojis in your text messages in WhatsApp? Yes, I use. Mm -hmm. Which one do you use, Olga? Um, the, uh, uh, this is amazing. This I'm laughing so hard, so I'm crying. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, I love it. And my heart is breaking. Also, my heart is breaking. When do you yeah. use that one? Ah, uh, when when my my friend um um cuando me cancelan una reunión con alguna amiga. Ah, when they cancel an appointment, a meeting with a mm -hmm. friend. When mm -hmm. you want, want to go out with a friend and they say, I'm sorry, I cannot go yes. out. <laughs> oh, my heart is breaking. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's disappointing. Very good. Elena, do you use any of those emojis? Yes. Which I one? Use the, um, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not amused. I'm not amused. Yes. And maybe um, I'm lo lo ah, I don't know the pronouns. Lo lo ah, laughing. 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 Okay. Thank you. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. Very good. It's not with an F, right? Even though it's written with a G-H, it is pronounced like F, right? 
laughing, right? Very good. And when do you use that one? I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. In which situations? When I talk uh, with my friends and one of them said something that is so funny. Yes, for, when they send memes, not right? Me. Yes. Yes, I'm very not good. A um, huh? Maybe I use for describe my mood. When I'm bored, mm -hmm. I, I use this. Yes. I use this emoji for a lot of contexts, not for one in a specific. Yes, it, you can use it in different situations, right? Very good. And I love it. When do you use it? Uh, with some time when I love something. Okay, when you're happy, right? For example, when someone is going to bring you food, right? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. And Alejandra, do you use any of these emojis, popular emojis? Yes. <laughs> Which one? Mm, I'm bored. I'm bored. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. When do you use that one? I'm so embarrassed. When maybe a, a friend say me that I am a good person. <laughs> when a friend tells you you're a good person. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Now, uh, if we don't have any question about that, remember uh, the pronunciation is really important, right? Bored, I love it, great job, that's awful, I'm not amused, that's amazing, just kidding, I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying, I'm so embarrassed, and my heart is breaking. So this is some of the uh, vocabulary that we are going to use. Now we are going to check the body language, right? What we were saying. For example, in the first picture, what is she doing in the first picture in this one? What is she doing? She is thinking. She is thinking probably, right? She is scratching her head. What is the meaning of scratching? ¿Qué significa scratching? Rascarse. Rascarse, right? Scratching. But when you're scratching your head, it's like that you feel like, like they are thinking about something or probably yes. they are confused, right? Probably. Yes. We don't know. The or next, yes, exactly. And the second one, what is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo la segunda, the second one? Tiene miedo. Yes, probably she's afraid, right? Because she's biting her nails, right? Se está comiendo uh, las uñas, yes. right? Biting her nails. So probably she's afraid. What What is another um another emotion that you, we can think about? Maybe she's, she's nervous. nervous. Maybe she's nervous, right? Probably mm -hmm. she is going to tell a lie to her mother or something like that, right? She's really afraid. She's nervous. Perfect. The third one, what is she doing? She's rolling her eyes. She is rolling her eyes. Can you roll your eyes? Can you roll your eyes? Olga or Rafael, because I you are the only ones that I can see, right? <laughs> and then Soraya, I can I can see. <laughs> yeah. and, um. I said, yeah. Um, I, I, I think, uh, she, she, um, she doesn't understand. She something. doesn't understand something. Uh -huh. Okay, when she, when you roll your <laughs> eyes, right, it's like that. Probably she is disgusted, probably, or she is frustrated, right? Like when, when you're being tell off, right? Cuando lo regañan a uno, right? Probably. We don't know, right? Probably the situation. Um, let's see the the fourth one, the green one. What is she doing? She's tapping her foot. Exactly, she's tapping her foot. 
What is the meaning of tapping? Somebody know? Uh, do you have any idea? Alejandra, Felix, welcome. Elena, Soraya. Como Maybe. golpear el pie. Exactly, como moverlo. golpear el pie, verdad? Como, well, like. Como impaciente. Impatient, yes. When you are waiting for something or someone and it's not coming, right? And you start tapping your foot, right? Very good. The the fifth one, the girl that is screaming, what is she doing? She's pulling her hair out. She is pulling her hair out, exactly. She's pulling her hair out. Like, why would you why would you do that? Why why do you think that she's doing that? Pulling her hair? Maybe she's hungry. Maybe she's angry, right? She's really uh, angry, right? Um, what is another probability, possibility? Do you know? Frustrated. 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 Probably she's frustrated, frustrada, right? When you try something and, and for example, you're cooking something and it's horrible at the end, right? You, buy a, you put a lot of effort and you do the thing and at the end it's horrible and you are frustrated right very good perfect and the last one what is she doing she's doing green 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 no she is wrinkling what is the green, meaning of green 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 fruncir está frunciendo su nariz like she's she's not very pleasant right no está muy contenta por algo, right? Probably. Probably she is annoyed. And let's see, Soraya, are you there, Soraya? Yes, teacher. Okay, what, what would you do if someone is wrinkling uh, their nose on you? ¿Qué haría usted si alguien le hace esa cara, la última? What would you do? Let's say, you, uh -huh, let's say that you are on the street or you are buying your things in the supermarket and someone is staring at you and she's doing that face. What would you do? Como enojada, quizá. <laughs> yeah. Es lo que está así, ajá, como. Yeah, like angry, right? Uh -huh. ¿Y qué haría usted si alguien le hace esa cara? Digamos, usted está en el mercado comprando y se le queda viendo a alguien así con esa cara. ¿Qué haría usted? What would you do? I am wrinkling her, my nose. You will wrinkle your nose. So, okay. Very good. The same, right? Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Now, uh, we have uh, described different situations possibilities because we don't know right because with the body language we are able to see if someone is happy if someone is upset if someone is crying boring or sad right so uh, we are able to see different situations but we don't know a veces no sabemos verdad some sometimes in our our neighborhood we have neighbors that they spy on us right hay unos vecinos a veces en el vecindario que a veces ellos ven verdad todo verdad de lejos no saben lo que está pasando, pero ellos están viendo que se están peleando, si están discutiendo. They know everything, right? So uh, they imagine things. We just think about situation. So we are going uh, to practice the pronunciation because we are going to use this vocabulary in the future, right? Like, uh, let's repeat, please, just to check, just to check the pronunciation. Let's repeat. Vamos a repetir para practicar. Uh, she's scratching her head. Repeat, please. She's scratching her head. She's scratching her head. She's Very good. Her head. She is biting her nails. She's, she's biting, biting her, her nails. nails. She's rolling her eyes. She's, she's rolling, rolling her, her, eyes. her eyes. She is tapping her foot. She's, she's, her her she's pulling her hair out. She's, she's pulling, pulling her, her hair, hair out. out. 
Very good. Last one. She is wrinkling her nose. She is wrinkling, She's wrinkling her, her nose. nose. Now let's go. Very good. Let's go with the um, the adjectives, right? Annoyed. 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 Confused. 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 Embarrassed. 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 Frustrated. 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 Irritated. 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 Bored. 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 Disgusted. 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 Exhausted. 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 Impatient. 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 Nervous. 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 Very good. Very good. Also, we have here uh, an expression. She looks confused, right? Ella parece confundida o se mira confundida. She looks confused. Do you have any question about this? About this vocabulary? Preguntas? Questions? Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to continue with the body language, okay? It says, word power, feelings, and gestures. What is this man doing? Probably you already did this. Uh, letter A, or uh, let's do the opposite, right? He is biting his nails. Who is biting his nails in these uh, pictures? Letter A, B, C, D, E, or... D. D. D would be the F, right? Okay. Yeah. D, right? D. This one, D. Who is rolling his eyes? C. C. Letter C. C, right? C, this one, right? Who is scratching his head? No se ve la letra, profesor. E. Scratching, yeah. Scratching his F. head. Scratching. E. F. A, right? Mm. A. Oh, no, it's sorry. It's not A. Yeah. It's, not, it's the last one. Mm -hmm. F, right? This would be the F. Scratching, the last one. Mm -hmm. Who is tapping his foot? Tapping. E. E. Letter, e. Letter E. Very e. good. Who is trilling his hair? A. 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 Very good. And who is wrinkling his nose? B. B, B right? Perfect. A. What is the meaning of twirling? Um, ¿Cuál es el significado de twirling his hair? Como rizarse. Como, ajá, enrollándose. enrollándose. Very good, enrollándose. Ajá. Very good. You look for the vocabulary right already. Ya buscaron el vocabulario. <laughs> yes, right. Ya, ya, no, that's it's for good. the imagine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. So this is, that is the meaning of trailing, right? Trailing, como enrollándose, very good. Now it says, in this class, you will listen, practice, or learn about body language using models and adverbs. Vamos a practicar y aprender de los models y adverbios. Now we're going to check this conversation. I guess it's in the platform, right? Have you listened to the conversation already? ¿Ya la escucharon? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are going to practice. We are going to listen to the conversation just once. And then we are going to practice just to check the pronunciation because that's what I want right now to check the pronunciation. Let's see here. I have here. Let me know if you are able to listen to it. Hi, welcome back. Models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. 
No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay, perfect. What was the conversation about? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? There's a student uh, is from India. It's a student from India, okay. And, and what, and what was the problem? Uh, when, when he's talking to you, mm -hmm. uh, he moves your head side to side. And some uh, some partner thinking uh, he's dis disagree, but it's lo contrario. How do you say lo contrario? Okay. Uh, yes, on the opposite or contrary. Yeah, that's okay. So that was a problem, a communication problem, right? Mm -hmm. A communication problem. Very good. Very good. And what was the resolution? What happened at the end? What does it mean that if they move the head from side to side? What happened? What was the meaning of it? That the person or agree with the other about the things that exactly exactly that they move the head from side to side when they agree with you right cuando están de acuerdo con usted la mueven de lado a lado mm -hmm. instead of saying yes they move mm -hmm. from side to side right very good so that's a problem with communication right uh, let's see we are going to check the models we are going to check later the models here in the conversation but first we are going to learn about models and adverbs. We have models. It says it might, may mean he doesn't understand you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. That must mean he agrees with you. So this is, the, estas son las oraciones que vimos en la conversación. These are the sentences that we studied in this conversation, right? Probably, maybe, right? So might and may is similar could is another model and must right it's different son diferentes right and adverbs we have maybe perhaps it means he doesn't understand you it possibly or probably means he doesn't agree with you and definitely means he agrees with you so we have adverbs and models right do you know the meaning of these adverbs and models yes for example, my and may, what is the meaning? Podría. Podría. Very good. Podría. Very good. And could? What is the Podría. meaning of could? Podría también. Yes, it's similar, right? Uh -huh. Solo que might es como más ambiguo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y could es un poco más seguro, más o menos, ¿verdad? No estamos seguros, podría ser que uh -huh. sí o que no. Y must is 100%. Debería. Right? Uh -huh. Debería o debe de, ¿verdad? That must mean he agrees with you. That must. Entonces son niveles, ¿verdad? Que no sabemos o medio sabemos o estamos más seguros, ¿verdad? Y adverbs, maybe or perhaps. What is the meaning of maybe or perhaps? Tal vez o puede ser. Tal vez. Tal vez, right. Prob and possibly and probably, what is the meaning of that? Posiblemente. 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 O probablemente. Probablemente. Very good. And definitely, what is the meaning of definitely? Definitivamente. Definitivamente. Definitivamente, right? So, es lo mismo, right? Uno estamos eh, medio seguros, nosotros ya estamos un poco más seguros y definitivamente es que nosotros eso debe de significar. Ya no estamos pensando si sí o no. And um, now we are checking here gestures, different gestures, like uh, we are going to check what they are trying to say. We are going to look at them and we have the possible meanings here. Aquí están los uh, posibles... 
los posibles significados. Good luck, buena suerte. Be quiet. Peace. That sounds crazy. I can hear you. Come here. Okay, so uh, number one. What is he trying to say? Number one. That, that sounds, sounds crazy. crazy. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Very good. That sounds crazy. Number two. What is she trying to say? Come, Come here. here. Come here. Come here. Very good. Number three. Be, Be quiet. quiet. Be, Be quiet. quiet. Very good. Number four. Peace. 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 Very good. Number five. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Good luck. And number six. I can hear you. I can, I can, hear, you. I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Very good. Very good. Perfect. So uh, we are learning new vocabulary. We have this uh, conversation. We are not going to practice it. Just we are going to. We are just going to repeat it. Y la otra si la vamos a, 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 a practicar porque ya tengo otra conversación ahí. So we are going to practice it. Okay. Uh, repeat after the conversation. Have you met Raj, the student from India? Have you met, you met Raj, Raj the the student, student from, from, India? from India? No, I haven't. No, I no, haven't. I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. Well... He seemed really nice. Well, but there's one thing nice, but I noticed he moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, I did. You know, like this. You know, like this. You know, like this. Very good. 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 No, no, I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Or it or could it mean, mean he doesn't agree, agree with, with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Actually, Actually people, people from, from India, India sometimes, sometimes move their hair from, from side to side, side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's why they move their hair from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Oh, oh so, so that's, that's what, what it means. means. Perfect. Now we are going to practice this one. But uh, we are going to listen first, listen to the conversation, and then we are going to practice in in pairs, right? So let me check here. Esta sí la vamos a practicar. Okay, I'm waiting to load. So let's wait just for a little bit. Are you able to see those scratches on my screen? No. No? No. It's only me? Don't mm -hmm. you see like yellow scratches on my screen? Yes, I see. Yes, okay. I, 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 I don't know what happened. Oh. But, <laughs> but probably I will check it later, no problem. So okay. this is just the popular emoji. Unit 14. Oh. Now I get it. Page 93, exercise oh, okay. three, conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A, listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down, but at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists, and you accept it. I don't know. 
it's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, it's a similar conversation, right? It's similar that they don't understand when they move their heads. That this means no, right? No, okay. Do you want to listen to it again? Yes? Yes, please. Yes, yes. yes, yes. because yes. now we are going to practice, okay? Mm. Now we are going to listen to now it Now I get it. Page 93, exercise three. Conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists, and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, perfect. Now, um, we have listened to the conversation. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation? Preguntas de la pronunciación? No? Do you have any question about new vocabulary? Like refuse, accept, host? No. No? You understand everything? Uh, teacher? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, when uh, she knows what's the meaning. This is nodding. I'm nodding right now. She nods. So this is oh. to nod, right? Yes, to nod. Oh. Okay. You nod your head. So I'm going to uh, create just groups because we're about to finish, but I want you to practice. Quiero que practiquen todos. Este, esta conversación. So we are going to do it really fast. Um, probably I'm going to send a screenshot right now to the group and I'm going to share the conversation there so you will be able to practice it, okay? Let me see here. And I'm going to form the groups right now. Okay, I send you, um, I'm going to send you right now the conversation to the WhatsApp group. You can check it there and then you can uh, start practicing. Just allow me one moment, please. Just one moment. We are seven, right? Yes. Okay, three groups, and you can start practicing, and then we are going to practice. Okay, go ahead. You have uh, five minutes to practice it because it's a short conversation. Five minutes. still don't understand her, her very well. You see, 
when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she said no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. Accept it. I don't know, it's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their head up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have any problems with the pronunciation? Mm, maybe oh, not. Sure. <laughs> uh -huh. No. No? Okay, keep on practicing, but do it more naturally, right, Alejandro? Like, how was dinner in the new Bulgarian, uh, sorry, how was the dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena, like, try to, intonation, right? Try to practice that. Imitate the conversation. Traten de imitar la conversación que escuchamos, okay? But it was, it was really good. We're going to listen at the end. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> perfect. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name, Elena? Yeah. Elena, it was nice. We always have a good time. Okay. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name, Elena? Yeah. Elena, it was nice. We always have a good time, but I still I don't, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she knows her head up and down, but at the same time she says no. It's my, it's my, mean this. Oh. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any of her fees. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? No, I get it. Okay, very good, very good. Now, try to practice, like, be more natural, the intonation, right? The intonation of the conversation, for example, uh, the first sentence, right? How was the dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena, like try to like the intonation, right, of the questions yeah, yeah. and sentence, but that's okay. Really good pronunciation. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, teacher, a mí lo que me cuesta es cuando van varias palabras que se parecen. Mm -hmm. Entonces se me enreda la lengua. Mm -hmm. But you have so, to practice. That's why yes. we're practicing. Do it slowly. No tiene que ir super rápido, despacio, pero siempre con fluidez, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, uh, okay, we are about to come back, okay? Okay, thank you. Um, sure. And you're Eva. <laughs> okay. You are Eva. Mm -hmm. Eva again, okay. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time. But I still
Okay, welcome back, everybody. Did you practice the conversation? Yes? Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to play like a scene since we were speaking um, or we were talking last week about movies, right? En la semana pasada hablamos de películas. Hoy vamos a hacer la escena de película, ¿verdad? Cuando yo, yo diga action, you start practicing, okay? You start talking and speaking like you are in a movie, right? So uh, we are going to begin right now. I need a volunteer who wants to start. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Volunteers? Only one. Elena, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Elena. Okay, who, who were you practicing with? With Olga. With Olga, exactly. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, action. Uh, so, sorry, sorry. Give me a second uh, uh -huh. uh, for my, my, my image. Please. Okay, okay, for the conversation. Okay. Yes, I will yes. try to share it also here. Okay, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Action. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she knows her head up and down, but at the same time, she say no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but, the, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse an offer fist. Then the host insists, insists and you accept it. I'm uh, sorry, I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want, want anything, but the thing is real to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? No, I get it. Okay, very good. Perfect. Perfect, Olga. Perfect, Elena. You did it very good. Uh, just a little bit of words, uh, just some uh, words like rude, right? But it's normal. It's normal. It's mm -hmm. normal. But you did it really good. That's good to practice, okay? Now, Elena, choose another person, please. Okay. Um, Alejandra? Alejandra. Are you ready, Alejandra? Yes. Okay. Who were you practicing with? ¿Con quién practicó Alejandra? With Felix. Ok, Felix. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ok, action. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena, it was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down, but at the same time, she say no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's very, it's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their hairs up and down, it means no. Really, now I get it. Okay, very good. Perfect. Very fluid conversation. Perfect. Actually, perfect. Now the last uh, couple, the last part is 
guest is uh, Rafael, right? Who are you practicing, Rafael? It's Elena. Elena, okay. Are you ready, Elena? Conmigo, con Soraya. Oh, oh Soraya. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Soraya, are you ready? Sorry. Yes. Okay, action. <clears throat> How how was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name, Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she knows her head up and down, but at the same time, she says no. It mean, mean she want to accept, but she think it's not police. Police in some country, you have to refuse any of their fears. Then the hopes insist and you accept it. I don't know, it's pretty confusing. It's called mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's you to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it's mean no. Really? No, by great. Very good. Perfect. Perfect pronunciation. Uh, we have to listen to it a different, uh, many, many times, but we are getting there, okay? Muy bien. Muy bien. Felicidades. Now, um, uh, we're going to stop the class for today. Uh, I won't give you any homework because tomorrow we are going just to study models and adverbs. So be prepared with that, okay? I will see you tomorrow and have a nice night, okay? Thank you for connecting. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night.